Hey y'all, today we're going to do a Penn Long Beach 67. I'm just going to break this down completely and put it back together. First we're going to start with removing the handle by taking this lock screw off and that nut underneath it. handle comes up <clears throat> then we can remove the drag knob here there's a washer on this one pull that sleeve out <clears throat> then we're gonna do all these screws here and on this side as well to open it up so I'm gonna just speed through this and as always uh, don't forget to hit that uh, like subscribe button if you like the videos that I put out and also consider subscribing uh, one thing to note before I speed this video up, the screws on this side are longer than the screws on the left side, or the non-handle side, so be sure to separate them. Okay, so let's get these screws situated. Two, four, six, and there should be eight. But let's see. It's not eight. I'm going to keep those over there. <coughs> and just take these posts and get them out of the way. And the only thing that comes off here would be that uh, beater ring there and this. So to finish this up, we're going to remove the uh, centric and undo these screws here to get that bridge off. kind of falls out keep your hand under this there's a spring in there for the dog that likes to shoot out sometimes where is it right there we'll keep all those things right here because we're gonna do this in a sec then we can take this ring off <clears throat> and just push the eccentric out Now we can pull off the main gear. Well, let's keep that intact for you. Get that washer off. And we can pull this <coughs> off by undoing this uh, pin that's right here. Just pushing it up. And that comes that sleeve. And how the drag sits is just like this and that's how you break down a pen long beach 67 i'm gonna come back to you and show you how to put it all back together oh one more thing you can unscrew this uh bearing on this side and that's it all right so i'll see you guys in a bit all right so we're back so let's start with the left side <coughs> let's add some grease inside here this ring up 
this clicker actually doesn't work because there's a groove uh, or it's just kind of worn out uh, but let's go ahead and get these things greased up anyhow to this the threading on here. As well as a little bit to this spring. Then we're just gonna stick that back in. That's far enough. <coughs> now I'm gonna grease one side of this, grease inside here, that should be good. And now we can just line this up on the inside. Like so. <clears throat> and then we can put in one of the stand screws. And just line it up. So now we can grease the ends of all of these up, or one side. That looks good. Then just screw those in. That's good enough. All right, so let's get to the <coughs> main gear. Grab 
We're going to grease these drag washers up. I'm going to put a thin coat on this. this bridge up here and add our sleeve to it. Mm, that's too much. I'm not, gre I'm not greasing the, te the teeth on this just the upper and lower portion of it. All right, so I'm gonna set that down like that. And then get our pin and then we're gonna add a little bit of grease to the side here and then stick that in. Make sure it goes all the way in so it doesn't hinder the uh, the main gear going over it. That looks good. I'm gonna grease this main gear up. Stick this washer on there. I'm with the main gear. First drag washer. Keyed washer. Next drag. Then the eared washer. The final <laughs> drag washer. And then the final keyed drag washer. And now we can stick this on there. You can put this any way you want. You can position them like this, like that, or if you want to do it, uh, just to add more tension to the drag. Then we can set that aside. So let's do the <clears throat> the right side. Same thing for this, uh, the bearing on this side. Uh, before I get there, let's go ahead and oil this bearing. Not a whole lot, but just some inside there. Bring our bearing here. Then we're gonna grease the hole where it's gonna go into. I'm also gonna grease the, the threading on this. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is the eccentric. <coughs> so let's get that greased up. Greased 
we're going to stick this spring inside. I'm going to add a tip of a bit of grease to the tip of this before I stick it in there, inside there. Then just drop it in like so. You're going to want the spring to be on this side, not on that side, on this side. Get over there. Like that. I think that's right. We'll find out right now. Where's my lever? Just place the lever on like this and then screw it in. Make sure it's flush with the uh, with the grooves for the lever. Then we're gonna balance that at this point here, like that. Hold on to the back of it, give it a little bit of pressure. Unscrew the nut or the screw, excuse me. Then flip this over and screw it in the correct way. I'm gonna keep it in that position, uh, that position for when I put the uh, the jack. Grease the jack plate and this yoke. I'm also gonna grease the dog with my hands on the outside, not on the tip. And we're also going to grease that pinion. Make sure you get inside that groove where the yoke is going to sit. And inside there where the spool sits on the uh, <clears throat> on the pinion. That is way too much. Okay. Ugh. All right, so where's our main gear? Let's get these springs put into these two little slots here. Get our yoke and then put our pinion on it. It's going to sit like this. Keep this in front of me. I like to push down on this. <coughs> Slide it over there like that, kind of at an angle. And I like to engage it, which in this case is actually disengaging because that's a free spool position. Or, sorry, putting it in a free spool position so that it rests on top of that. And now I'm going to get back to it. Take it out of there. Get our main gear. Hold it sideways. Get it through the slot while it's lining up with the uh, the pinion. Well, that's good. You can see that. That's nice. There you go. Like that. Why am I having trouble? Okay, good. Turn it about halfway like that get our screw that's going to go into these into this jack plate and we're going to take the threaded one stick it through the bottom that's where the dog is going to sit rest that on there like that and then we're going to take that spring just kind of pinch it in there and then you got to push down on that this is where it gets tricky you got to push down on the uh, on the screw a little bit so that this jack plate can go over it, but maintain the pressure on top of that spring so it doesn't shoot anywhere. Now you can just screw that down, not all the way, just enough to secure it. Then you can put the other screws in. The not fully threaded screw goes through the, uh, the spring section.
That looks good. I'm gonna grease the back of this. to the spring. Okay, so now we can grease the inside of this beauty ring. start putting this together. First I'm going to tighten these screws down over here on this side. These are just being hand tightened. They're not, you know, doing a whole bunch of tightening on these things. I just certainly don't want to crack that, uh, the, uh, <coughs> the bake light hand uh, side plates. So now we can grease this side, this post, or these posts. Set that so it's ready for the spool, which we're going to grease here. And on this side as well. Drop the spoon inside. Make sure the clicker is on the off position. Now we can line this up. Then get that screwed in place. to start with the posts first so make sure you have the right length screws in there I'm not going all the way down I'm just securing these sides and then we can go to the the real seat Tighten these kind of opposite one another. And 
I'm going to do the same for the bridge. Those four screws in the middle there. just kind of go opposite of each other <clears throat> now we can put the sleeve on that washer there and get this thing finished up in here again. I think I did it before but it never hurts to put more. And get this handle on and screw our crazy boy in. up with the hole that screw to go into. So let's make sure it works. Sounds good. That's the free spool. Tighten this up a little bit. Again, the clicker doesn't work. The drag does, which is good. All right. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like the videos that I put out, and the like button as well. And be sure to tell your friends about the channel. Alright, I will see you all next time.